Hey guys, uh, just gonna make a video on how to show you how to do a piston upgrade. A friend of mine showed me how to do to your airsoft pistons. I'm doing it in a version 2 gearbox. So, the basic things you're gonna need for this upgrade is three nylon washers. They're uh, 3 8 diameter, and the inner diameter doesn't matter. So 3 8 diameter, and I don't know the thickness, but pretty much just that thickness will do. Um, I got these ones from Home Depot. Uh, they're 69 cents a piece. You can probably get them from a uh, hardware store also, but Home Depot is where I decided to get them. Uh, you'll need a piston. Uh, this one I used, this gear, the uh, upgrade's already done on this one, but it's a Modify uh, Plastic Teeth Piston, transparent blue, and uh, I'm running a ball bearing cylinder head, uh, Modify, I've been running this one for a long time and it still works pretty decent, it's a little bit scuffed up, but, so that's what, uh, my parts are. For the tools you'll need your uh, uh, file of some kind. When I did this I filed out the tooth teeth with a Dremel tool but anything narrow enough to get in there should do fine for you. And then some Loctite thread lock uh, to Loctite the th thread so it doesn't come loose inside your gearbox. Alright so You'll need a longer screw for your uh, for your uh, bushings go. And uh, what I used is uh, gearbox screw, fine thread, basically whatever you had in your cylinder head, just longer, long enough to support these three stacked together. All right. So for the spacer part, what you're going to want to do is get your screw through the hole like that and get your screwdriver on it and hold some tension. Then once you got that, you can take your Loctite and put a little bead on your threads, not too much because then it'll get kind of gooey. So just a little bit on there to drop. Keep things stuck together. Now with the bushings, the washers, you take these and set them down like that on top of your screw. Then you take your cylinder head, put it right there, and get it started. Now what you do is you move these washers pretty even with each other, tighten it down, and you want it pretty snug. So if nothing moves inside your gearbox, you wouldn't want this coming loose in your gearbox if you're causing serious damage. Get that pretty snug. So that's that. So that gives you a little bit longer piston. Now, why I did this is you have to file out two back teeth on your piston. And I'll show you later on my gearbox why you do that. But first, how I did the... Uh, filed out the piston I use I'll show you on an older piston I have okay so when you do this you want to leave your back tooth intact you don't want to touch it with the file at all so you don't lose any strength or anything like that so from this back tooth you count one two these two right here so then once you do that you take your file and run it on its end Put it down and file it off. And once you get that done, you can see it will look like this. And see, I didn't file them all the way off. I just filed them off enough so that the gear teeth won't catch. You can check that in your gearbox when you have it apart so they won't snag because it's going to grab on this back tooth and skip these. So I'll show you how it works now. 
Alright, so I have my gearbox pretty taken apart just down to these two gears so you can see what the piston does with this spacer modification. You bring your piston down in there. Okay, so make sure it's pushed all the way forward. So now, actually, I'll show you what original piston, regular piston does first. And you can see the difference. <coughs> okay, so now, you put your, this is an original piston, you put this in, and what the teeth do when it cycles, cycles in this direction, it will grab this piston on that tooth right there at that angle. So you see how that tooth is pushing upward on the piston. That creates stress and it is pushing torque up, so the piston wants to climb up, runs back, and they all engage to the last tooth and it releases and you have a cycle. So now, when you have the upgraded piston with the spacers and the filed out teeth, go ahead and slip it in. See, now the piston rides a little bit further back. So when you cycle through, it will pass right there where the teeth were, hit on the teeth, hit on the uh, back tooth right here at a 12 o'clock position and when it goes back it pulls straight back and down away and not up towards the piston and, and this creates less stress on your tooth and then it engages right here afterwards not using these two teeth it engages further up the piston also so what that means is less strain on this back unreinforced piece of plastic and into the middle more so it's more reinforced more apt to not break and then it runs back in its same tooth position the last tooth gauges release and you have a cycle so this also could increase rate of fire just a little bit but mainly this upgrade is for strength and my gun became way smoother in gearbox operation and it just is a good upgrade to do so that's, then the gearbox goes back together as normal. You just have your longer piston, and uh, that's how it works. So, uh, thanks for watching, and bye.